Hey guys, what's up? It's Ricky on O2L. And this week's theme is school week, since most of you guys have gone back or are going back to school, which, if that's the case, I'm so sorry. I'm just, I'm sorry. But anyway, I decided to do annoying things teachers do. When teachers eat food in class or chew gum, it's really annoying because they don't let you eat food in class, but then they pull out a Big Mac and fries and eat right in front of all of you and expect you to be okay with it. Like, I can't have a little granola bar, but you can sit there and eat your Big Mac. Okay. Or chewing gum. They won't let us freshen up our breath, but they sit up in the front of the class smacking their gum, blowing bubbles. It's kind of unfair. If you're gonna sit up there and smack your gum and eat your burgers, let the students Hypocrite. So, as you can see, when you do 2 plus 2, it equals 6. Excuse me! Put your fruit away. No eating in class. When teachers text or talk on their phone, if y'all schools were like my school, we couldn't have our phones out in class, so... I can't text. I can't call my mama or Pizza Hut or Taco Bell. But the teacher, oh, when they get a phone call, the class has to stop and has to be okay with it. And so, as you can see, back in the 1800s, excuse me, Johnny, put your phone away before I slap you in the face. Oh, hello, mother. Yes, <laughs> I'm just in class right now, but I have plenty of time to talk. So, after school, do you, are you still going to that liposuction treatment? When they assign homework and projects over breaks and holidays, like, it's annoying enough to have it on the weekends, but girl, when I'm on Christmas break or Thanksgiving and I'm picking out on some turkey, I am not gonna do a project. No. Okay, class, hope you have a wonderful Christmas break. Oh, I almost forgot. Don't forget, make sure you guys write your 50-page essay on why you love me. When they take points off for really stupid and irrelevant things. Hmm, let's see, I'm gonna grade Sheldon's essay. Oh, he used the wrong form of your minus 20 points. I hate it when teachers hold you over the bell. Look, I just sat there for an hour listening to you blab about the most boring thing ever. Let me go to lunch. And then adding on to that, when the bell rings and you start packing up, getting ready to go because, hello, the bell means class is over, when they get mad at you for packing up and leaving. Like, the bell rang, teacher, mute, I'm leaving. Okay, so after Abraham Lincoln assassinated George Washington, um, that's when Barack Obama became the new president. Make sense? Um, excuse me, stop packing away. I dismiss class, not the bell. We're staying for 20 more minutes now. That's what I was saying. Obama was the third president of the United States. I hate it when teachers pick favorites, like out of students. There's always that annoying teacher's pet that the teacher just loves and gives obvious special treatment to. Sheldon, I'm sorry you got your leg removed in the hospital for a week, but that is no excuse to not turn in your essay. F. Oh, hello, Susanna. Oh, you had a cold for the past month? Don't worry about it. I'll give you an A. Don't do any of the assignments. You're good. It's so annoying when teachers won't let you go to the bathroom during class. If I've gotta go, I've gotta go. I've gotta pee. I've gotta poop. Let me go. If you want me to poop in your classroom, fine. I will. But if you don't want that, let me go to the bathroom. Don't even get me started on girls. You know, when girls need to go to the bathroom, let them go. Elizabeth, I realize it's that time of the month, but now is not the time for the restroom. We're learning about math. Priorities. Importance. It can wait. I really hate it when teachers, like, they emphasize the fact that, oh, ask questions. Always ask questions. When you're confused, ask a question. So I hate it when I ask a question and they reply with a rude, sassy remark that makes you look dumb. Like, if I'm asking the question, I don't know what I'm learning. Either teach better or help me. Don't make me look like an idiot in front of the class. The next thing, two words, pop quizzes. No need to go on with this one. Teachers, if you want your class to hate you, give a pop quiz, they will love it. When teachers give you assigned seating, like I'm already gonna be bored to death listening to teachers blab about the 18th century pilgrims in China. At least let me sit by my friends. Don't put me by people I don't know, people I don't like, it just makes it worse. 
It makes me want to fall asleep. It makes me want to text. When teachers give you group projects and they assign you to people you don't know or don't like, and it honestly makes a project super hard. All right guys, that's about it for my little rant I did there. I hope you enjoyed it. If you agreed on anything that I said, please give me a big thumbs up right now below. It really helps me out. And please comment below some other things that teachers do that's really annoying. But by the way guys, this is a really awesome announcement. Our Friday, Trevor Moran, little Trevi, released his debut single on iTunes today. It's called Someone and he worked so hard on it and he it's honestly awesome everybody please go support trevor and buy his song of itunes i'll have the link below and make sure you check out the most recent video on my main channel just click right here to check it out and while you're there please subscribe to my main channel if you're not i make videos every sunday and please follow me on twitter and instagram and all of that stuff i have my links down below but that's it i will see you guys next tuesday have a lovely day and an awesome week okay guys see ya later Let me film!